Fundamentally, we're a hip-hop band. We all listen to a lot of different music. With Borstal, we set out to make something that was, I say we set out, but like, in the back of our minds, we always wanted to try and write something that was kind of, I say poppy, I use poppy in the loose sense, but like, a, a song that's catchy and uh, and kind of encapsulates sound amongst Florence without sounding too contrived and too, um, too forced. Borstal started from a bunch of random cut up samples in the MPC, literally three samples, and that was it really. And then went from there, Dre, I think it was Dre and uh, Cam and Robin, they were working on some music with us at the time, and we happened to be there. I went into the live room and just started jamming this beat over the um, little sample lick I had. At the time, Johnny wasn't there, but then he had some synth pass, laid some synths down to it, and kind of fleshed it out. It had some guitars in it, but generally speaking, that was a pretty fast process with that one. And again, once one of those songs that we, 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 we've always set out to make something that was poppy and catchy, and but by the end of it, we're like, yeah. When we've originally come up with like the demo for this beat, I remember listening to it like a few days later and was just like, what the fuck is this? Now it was in a voice note. It was in a voice note. Because a lot of the time I'll just be recording like voice notes. So probably in my voice note, I was just like, and I was like, what's this beat though? This beat sounds mad. So then we went back to it in the next session and and yeah, came up with this sort of idea that like being stuck in time as in stuck in your old sort of ways and you know that you shouldn't be this way but you can't seem to move forward from it and like you know I just kind of like the, the word borstal and I don't know so sometimes it's not like that calculated it's just like you might come up with the word first and then be like what, what does that mean to me I never really think right today I'm gonna fucking write a song about being sad because I'm sad or Today I'm gonna write this about this, but like a lot of time I come up with a whole fucking verse and then I'm like, oh shit, I'm talking about that. Do you know what I mean? I listen back to it and be like, oh. When I first heard it, it was really, really difficult for me to approach it because I kind of felt, so I heard it as uh, Dream McLean had laid down, what, what do you call his chorus? Um, and Cyrus, Alex Osiris had done his verse, you know. And I'd heard it at that point and I was just like, fuck's sake, they've literally said everything that I would have wanted to say on a song like this. So it's 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 really difficult to obviously take that on, you know. I had kind of like these melody ideas and so on and so forth, and I thought, okay, well, what, the, what does the song not have, you know? It doesn't need a long verse, because Alex has got a long verse. All the intricacies, dream and Alex had already done it so I thought maybe just focus on the melody and I came up with this thing more just about you know similar situations that I've been in is coming in and feeling like an alien in a way you know being inside your body and kind of feeling like alienated in one way but outside of your experiences so kind of like causing pain or causing hurt or unsettling someone else that you care about but not really knowing why you're self-sabotaging you know um, and I think I think as young men especially young men in like you know, this kind of generation, um, with all the distractions that we have, I think that's quite relatable. So I thought, you know, I would write something that's kind of a, <laughs> a polite explanation for why we, we self-sabotage, if that makes sense. Yeah.